Hi guys, this is Mikhail from Prague ICU and today I will show you how to perform a pericardiosynthesis. In general, there are three percutaneous exit options for reaching the pericardial space. The apical, subxiphoid and parasternal approaches. Prague ICU prefers the subxiphoid puncture under fluoroscopy. In emergency settings, you may use an echo-guided technique. During pericardiosynthesis, clinicians must be attentive to the important anatomic structures in the way of the puncture needle approach. Of major interest is cardiac laceration, coronary artery injury, internal mammary artery injury, pneumothorax, liver or stomach puncture, or peritoneal puncture. Pericardiosynthesis steps are as follows. First, echocardiography for confirmation of size and location of the effusion. Patient support with fluids or vasopressors. Best approach selection, subxiphoid area preferably. Sterile trolley with equipment preparation. Disinfection of the area and sterile drape placement. Local anesthesia. Fluoroscopy navigation. Echocardiography if fluoro not available, advanced needle aspiration, bubble injection and echocardiography confirmation, sheath insertion, pigtail insertion, pericardial pressure measurement which is optional, effusion drainage, glute analysis and sheet and drain suture. As a first step, we need to confirm the size and location of the fluid in the pericardium. In this patient, we can appreciate the large circumferential pericardial effusion. On the sterile trolley, we have local disinfection chlorexidine, 20 ml syringe with local anesthetic agent, scalpel, 2 he aspiration, 15 cm 18 gauge needle, which has a long curved bevel with a sharp distal tip that is often utilized to safely enter pericardium. 0.035 inch J guide wire, 6 French metallic sheath with introducer, 6 French pigtail catheter, saline, syringes, and contrast agent. The chosen area is sterilized using chlorhexidine. Then, sterile drapes are placed around the side. The superficial skin and the deeper tissues are then locally anesthetized using a lignocaine solution. A small incision is made at the entry site to facilitate the insertion of the needle and the instrumentarium later on. Using the subxiphoid approach, the needle contains a iodine contrast medium and is pointing towards the left shoulder at an angle of 30 to 45 degrees to the skin. Negative back pressure is applied throughout the duration of needle access. Needle position in the pericardium space is confirmed by the contrast agent injection. The inferior position appearance of a sluggish layering of the contrast medium indicates the correct position. Then continue inserting the needle with negative back pressure until pericardial fluid is aspirated. A bloody aspirate may indicate myocardial puncture or hemorrhagic pericardial effusion. Therefore, the extracardiac position of the tip of the needle can be confirmed by injecting agitetic saline through the two eye needle. The bubbles can be visualized through echocardiography in the pericardial space. The contrast creates a nice snowflake-like image. Once a good position of the needle is confirmed, insert a soft J-tip guide wire into the pericardial space. On fluoroscopy, the wire should be wrapped around the heart, not present in the specific vessel structure such as pulmonary artery. In addition, check the ECG while advancing the wire. If ventricle extrasystoles occur, check the wire's position again. Now withdraw the needle and insert the metallic sheath with an introducer over the wire into the pericardial space. Withdraw the introducer 
and advance the pictal catheter over the guide wire. Inserting metallic sheath may be helpful in situations when a pictal catheter gets clotted in the ICU. Then you can still use the side port of the sheath for suction. Confirm pigtail final position by fluoroscopy. And aspirate the fluid. Through the side port of the sheath, you can either aspirate or measure the pericardial pressure. Aspirate the majority of the pericardial fluid and send at least 150 ml syringe to the lab for analysis. Biochemistry, blood count, cytology and microbiology. Recheck the vital signs and the decreasing size of the pericardial fluid by ultrasound. Attach the redden drains to the side port of the sheath and the pigtail catheter. Finally, suture the sheath and the drain. And this is all for now. Thank you for watching Prague ICU and stay tuned for more videos from the intensive care unit.